my cuties. How are you doing? I hope that you are doing so well. So today I'm going to be trying Savaland's newest e-file. I will put the current price up on the screen. As you can see, it is very affordable compared to other e-files on the market at the moment. So let me show you, let me show you. It is their newest 50,000 RPM e-file. I didn't, I didn't know it was possible either until they reached out to me and told me about it. They claim that it can easily remove acrylic nails in three minutes. So I am definitely going to be putting it to the test today and seeing if it can indeed do that. But before I get into trying out this Majestic e-file, I would like to thank Savaland for sponsoring today's video. Thank you so much Savaland for your support. Anyway, I have a coupon code with Savaland that you can use to save money if you wish. Also a quick note, this video was pre-recorded because I originally recorded it and then they ran out of stock so I had to wait to post it. So the nails that I will be removing today are acrylic nails that I did a few weeks ago. Anyway, enough of that. Let's just open this bad boy up and let me test it for y'all. So here is the beautiful packaging. I'm not gonna lie, I was pleasantly surprised by how cute and pretty that this packaging is. Like, look at that. I have never used a nail drill that is more than 35,000 RPM, so this is going to be something. And then down here, it says it has a 6,000 milliamp battery. I think that's what that is, but a large battery. It should last 12 hours. It has a slot for left-handed and right-handed, and it has five color lighting. Each color represents different speed setting. Okay, I'm actually really excited about that part. I think that that's gonna look so pretty. And then on the back, there's a bunch of extra information. You can read that if you would like. I'm not gonna read through it all right now, but I am just too excited to get into this, so let's just open it up. And y'all know I'm going to give you my honest opinion. You guys know that the e-file that I normally use was literally only like $20 or less, and it works fine for me now, but I'm kind of wondering if this is going to be one of those situations where I didn't realize how nice it is to have a really nice e-file until I've tried one. So hopefully that is the case with this one. If it's not, don't worry. I'm gonna let you know. We're gonna find out if it's worth it or not. First choice of at-home nail salon. I do really like Savaland. You guys know I use a lot of Savaland products. They do send me stuff every now and then, but I do buy Savaland products myself as well because I just really like them. That's a cute little message. Cute. Alrighty, so here it is. Right off the bat, we've got the drill itself or like the battery pack, whatever. Oh, this is, this is gonna be satisfying. This is gonna be nice. Beautiful. Ooh, look at that clean screen. Oh my goodness, I'm scared to get it dirty. So I'm guessing you use this dial to control the speed. We have the forward and reverse button on the side over here. And this is, if you can tell, it's like a very thick plastic, but it looks like aluminum. And it's not too heavy, so that's nice. The e-file handheld part itself though is definitely aluminum. It feels very sturdy and very nice. Wow, and I love this color. It's like a purple tinted silver. Mmm, I love it. I love it. I'm trying to imagine what it would feel like to remove these holding this, but you know, I'm gonna remove them after we're finished unboxing this. So I'm just gonna move right along. So here's the little slot that you keep the pen in. So this just like attaches on the side over here in these little two holes. Just kind of pop it in there. Oh, okay, I got it in there. I got it in, I got it in, I got it in. Okay, so let me show you what I did. So I was like kind of pushing it in. I was kind of like shoving it in and then pushing it down. But what you really want to do to put this in here is kind of just pop it in here. Don't shove it in. Kind of actually pull it forward as you push it down. And boom, there. And that is sturdy. That is in there nice and good. Oh, did you hear it click? With my old one that I have, I actually had to use some super glue to glue it in there because it was like super jank and didn't stay in. But this one feels super sturdy. So that's nice. Always like a good sturdy e-file pen holder. Just gonna set that to the side. We have some bits in here. Oh wow, we it comes with a lot of bits. So we've got like some diamond cuticle bits with a mandrel and some sanding bands. We have some more cuticle bits and such. Two different types of ceramic drill bits, which I'm really glad that they included this skinny one because this skinny one is one that I was actually looking for when I first started doing my nails and nobody was selling an e-file 
with it which was kind of annoying but this one is good to get around your cuticles if you have like any spillage with the gel and such so it's nice that they included that but anyway we got those and then we have this cute little brush to dust off like the dust after you file so cute oh, i love that it's like this periwinkle color oh my goodness i am thriving for this color oh my goodness and look at that look at that pretty a bunch of extra sanding bands i can always use more of these and they come in all different grits i can tell the grittiness some are grittier than others so then we've got two kind of like buffer style files they are like foamy so you can tell that they're like flexible which is nice and one side feels like it's more gritty so probably i'm guessing like a 100 by 120 or maybe even like an 80 by 100 and they're basically both the same just different shapes and we've got the little charging wire i actually might need to charge this oh oh hey oh my goodness it came fully charged hey yo that's epic oh my goodness that's cool can y'all see this that that's cool okay okay i'm gonna turn it off for now and finally we've got the extra special wire that we use to connect the pen to the body and so it's super simple you just take one side of the wire and plug it into the body and you take the other side of the wire and plug it into the pen Alrighty, so that is everything that comes in the box with this e-file. I'm actually really impressed with all of the little extra things that you get with this e-file. But now it is time to put it to the actual test and it is time to say goodbye to these nails. I know these nails are so cute and I love them so much, but they are acrylic and I want to see if this e-file can actually remove acrylic in three minutes. So let me go show you how I remove my acrylic nails. Super safe, super quick, super easy. And Let's test out this new e-file, shall we? Let's go. Okay, so the first step to removing your set of acrylic nails is to remove the extra length. I like to do this using these little wire cutters. They're actually technically jewelry supplies, but they're super strong and I tend to make my acrylic nails a bit thick. So I'm just gonna start by removing the length from basically my natural nail up and also removing any charms that are in the way. So like that little heart. So we're gonna have to say goodbye to this gummy bear. Oh, bye gummy bear. And then chop that off, just like that. And then you also wanna remove any charms that are on the nail bed part because you don't wanna be filing through charms. Rhinestones and charms can be made out of resin and other materials that you don't really wanna be breathing in the dust of. So definitely remove any rhinestones or charms from your nail bed area as well. But like for instance, over here, there's this little heart charm down here. I'm not gonna bother removing it because when I chop the extra length off, it's gonna be gone. But there's a tiny little gem right here. I'm gonna take that off. And definitely watch out for flying charms when you're doing this. All right, so there we go. We chopped off all of the length and all of the charms or rhinestones that are on your nail bed area. I do like to keep these little parts that I chop off though. And I have this giant mason jar with like all of the nail clippings and nails that I've done since I started doing my nails. Well, mostly all of them, not really all of them. You might see some in there that you recognize. But anyway, I'm gonna put them in here with the rest of them. Just because I like having those mementos of each set. You know what I'm saying? All right, now we're left with this thick ad layer of acrylic on our nails. And that's got to go. And that is when this beauty comes into play. And I did quickly just read through these tips. They are already things that I know because I've been using an e-file for around a year now. But if you are new to using an e-file, I would definitely go through these tips just to make sure that you don't hurt yourself because you can definitely hurt yourself. Oh, I didn't notice this, but there's also a little description of what each bit is. So since the ceramic corn head bit, this one is the one that they say is used for removing all kinds of nail art. I'm going to assume that this is the one that is meant for removing acrylic. So that's what I'm gonna use. So to put the bit in, we're gonna unlock it by turning this thing to the left. And that opens this up and we can take that out and we can stick the new bit in. And then you can lock it by turning this back to the right and it's in there. Okay, first let's just test how loud this gets. Oh, 
Holy, hold up. When I turned it on, it automatically started at 50. Bro, that is going so fast. That scares me, like I can't even see it, like whoa. And you can hear, like I don't know if you can hear, I'm gonna stick it up to the microphone, but you can hear like air coming out of here to keep like the pen itself cool. Like, can, can you hear that? Anyway, that's what it sounds like. I'm definitely gonna put it lower now. Ooh, see it changed colors. Oh, hey. I wanna see the whole rainbow. Okay, I didn't see any green, but there we go. Zero is pink. So now that I have it on zero, I'm gonna turn it off and see if I, when I turn it back on, if it starts at 50 again. Cause I feel like that's kind of dangerous. Okay, no, it starts back at zero. Okay, cool. So anyway, I'm really impressed with how quiet that was. I guess the real test will be what it sounds like when it's removing the acrylic. So let's do that. So if you didn't know this, the forward and the reverse. So when you're using an e-file, you're gonna wanna have it on forward if you are using your dominant hand and you're gonna wanna have it on reverse if you are using your non-dominant hand. At least that is to my understanding, that's what I do. So when I'm using my right hand, I make sure that it's on forward and there we go. And you can see on the LED screen that it is on forward. This is not touch screen by the way. And it must have not been fully charged because it's already down one battery. Thingy. Anyway, let's start removing this acrylic, shall we? Okay, so I'm not gonna time it yet. I just wanna see what it sounds like and what it feels like first. So I usually like to remove acrylic at around like 20. And I like to start with removing the extra length from the top. Okay, yeah, see how much dust? That's why I like using my dust collector, but I'll get my dust collector out in a second. Now I'm gonna turn it all the way up to 50. And now I'm kind of scared, Loki. That got removed so quick. Okay, I'm definitely gonna take my dust collector out right now because it's creating a whole lot of dust. But right off the bat, I can tell that the 50 thousand rpm is definitely removing the acrylic quicker than my old drill did on the 35,000 rpm so they're definitely not just saying that it's 50,000 rpm at least i don't think they are this seems very legit okay so i'm gonna turn my dust collector on now and just finish removing the acrylic from this thumbnail just so that i myself can kind of get used to the e-file and how it works and then i'll kind of and then i'll kind of tell you guys my thoughts on it and for the rest of the nails we'll set a timer and see if it can actually remove the acrylic in under three minutes and I have a white rubber base gel on my nails so I'm only going to be removing the acrylic down until that white rubber base gel and then I'm going to soak it off from there All right, so I just turned the dust collector off. That was definitely the quickest that I have ever removed that thick of acrylic. I am super impressed with that. Also, I want to say, please, please, if this is your first time using an e-file and you are using this e-file or any e-file, do not use the highest speed on your e-file to start off. Please don't, I don't want you to hurt yourself. It's really easy to nip yourself or get lots and lots of heat spikes that are not fun if you go straight into it using the highest speed. They also said that in the instruction manual, they said to start at a lower speed and work your way up. That's what I did. That's definitely what you should do if you don't wanna hurt yourself. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Start at a low speed, but I am doing it for science and because I'm kind of sort of okay with an e-file now. So as you can see, I got it all the way down to the white base gel. And once I got down to this, I could definitely feel the heat a little bit more because that thing was going really fast. And just because I don't want to risk filing into my nail. But anyway, before I go in with the acetone to soak the rest of it off, I do kind of want to just use this buffer file thing to kind of maybe get it even a little thinner. Just because I was really scared of getting a lot of heat spikes with this, that ceramic bit if I went any further. And there we go. Now you can see all of that acrylic is gone and we were just left with my thin nail and a little bit of that white rubber base gel, which we will soak off in a little bit. Look at how thick this acrylic is. I feel like this acrylic is pretty decently thick, very thick. I wanna set a timer on my phone and see if this actually only takes three minutes to file off. Okay, I'm really smart because I just set a timer 
to see if the e-file would remove the acrylic in three minutes or less and I forgot to press record. Anyway, I removed the acrylic from this finger and it only took less than two minutes. It took one minute and 48 seconds, but now I'm gonna do it on camera and we're gonna see if we can remove the next nail in under three minutes. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Okay, I stopped there because I removed pretty much all of the acrylic and as you can see, I started kind of filing into that rubber base gel and I did not want to do that because I, I do not want to be touching my natural nail at 50,000 RPM with a ceramic drill bit. No, thank you. So I stopped there and, and that only took one minute and 37 seconds. That's actually kind of crazy. I'm not lying to you. Okay. Y'all might think that that's not that crazy, but for me, like, I'm not even gonna lie to you, it usually takes longer than an hour for me to remove one hand of acrylic. Like, it takes me probably at least 10 minutes per nail usually to file them off. And y'all think that I'm joking, but I'm not. And it might just be because I suck at it, but this e-file is working pretty dang well, I must say. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these last two nails. I'm not gonna time it because I think y'all kind of actually I'll keep the timer there just for fun we'll run it while I'm doing these last two but I'm just gonna file those off the same as I did before also I did want to mention that while I was filing off the other acrylic that thing where the file like kind of spins around your finger happened to me once and that's not the file's fault that's a me fault that's a me problem um, with how I was using it but it didn't like rip my flesh off or anything so like don't be scared of it because it's 50,000 rpm Surprisingly, I haven't cut myself, but I don't want to speak too soon because I don't want to jinx myself. Alrighty, so I just grabbed my 100% pure acetone, my cotton rounds, and my little nail product remover clip thingies. And before I actually go in with the acetone, what I like to do is put some Vaseline on my fingertips to protect them from the acetone because the acetone will really, really dry out your fingertips and your cuticles. So I like to just go in with some of that Vaseline kind of underneath the nail. You honestly can't have too much of the Vaseline, in my opinion. If you don't wanna use Vaseline, you can also just use cuticle oil, but I like Vaseline because it's like really thick. And then what I like to do is actually cut my cotton rounds in half. You could even cut them in fourths, but I think halves is good. And I just fold that in half, soak it in some acetone. Make sure it's really soaked in acetone. Place it on my nail bed like that. And then take my little clip and clip it on there. You really wanna make sure that that whole area is covered with the acetone. Also, these clips, you can get them at your local Dollar Tree in the nail section. I've seen them there before, so. Anyway, I'm just gonna do that for the rest of them. And then I'm gonna let this sit on my nails for probably 15 to 20 minutes just to be sure. If you have a thicker layer of product on your nail, you're gonna wanna leave it on there for closer to 20 minutes. But if you have a really thin layer of product on your nail, then 10 to 15 minutes will do. Alrighty, so it's definitely been longer than 20 minutes actually. I started watching 1000 Pound Sisters and then I just like did not want to leave. So it's been around probably half an hour that this has been soaking. So I'm just gonna take this cuticle pusher that is kind of sharp and it's not really my go-to for my actual natural nails for removing my cuticle. And I'm going to take these off one by one and just start scraping it off. And it should be super easy to just like scratch off like that. You shouldn't have to apply too much pressure at all. 
and it should kind of just like flake off just like that. Super, super, super easy. No damage, beautiful. And sometimes I just like to take the lighter side of my buffing block and just kind of buff the surface a little bit to get rid of any of the extra like clingers, clingers, clingers. So I just like to smooth everything out and now it looks so nice and clean, look at that. And there we go, we've got all of the product removed. Also, if my nails look a little damaged, I know some of them are a little damaged. That's why I've been using the rubber base gel. Anyway, I'm gonna go wash my hands now to get rid of this icky, sticky feeling from the Vaseline and I will be back. And just like that, we went from acrylic nails back to little nubbies, super quick. I know that if I was not filming this process, it would have only taken me probably like the five minutes to file them off plus the 15 minutes to soak them. Probably would have only taken me 20 minutes to remove the full set, give or take like a couple minutes. So yeah, I am really impressed with this e-file. I think that it's a really good, really good budget e-file file and I would honestly recommend it to my best friend. If it's not in the coins or your budget right now, like you do not need this e-file. Like the e-file that I use from AliExpress, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be fine for you if you're a beginner, but it is definitely super nice if you do super chunky acrylic or poly gel nails like I do to have this 50,000 RPM e-file to file them off super quick. So I really enjoyed my experience with this and I will definitely be linking all of the information that you need about this e-file down below in the description box for you. So that's pretty much it for this video and the whole acrylic removal process and my review of this e-file. But I am going to include a little bonus section because y'all know that I love like dazzling my e-files and like my tools. Here is my old e-file and this one is really pretty and sleek just like this, but I definitely need to personalize it and make it look more like my own. Like this is what my phone looks like. I don't think I'm gonna be doing any resin really, but I do wanna put a few stickers and little charms and rhinestones on here. So if you would like to watch me do that, stick around. If not, that's totally cool. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video up until this point, it would really mean a lot to me if you gave it a like. It really helps me out a lot and I really appreciate you guys for it. I love you so much. I hope you're having the most amazing day, night, week, life. Sleep well. If you're going to sleep, cutie, I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah. Now for the rest of you who stayed, let's get into bedazzling this. So I'm gonna try to make this pretty quick. I'm going to stick to like the purple theme with this and I'm going to use these Karomi stickers that one of my subscribers sent me. I love them so much and I think that they will look amazing on this e-file. I also grabbed out a couple charms and some different rhinestones, all of which I will be putting on using my UV resin and my UV lamp to cure them on. 